Well, today I am making a auto rotisserie out of two engine stands I purchased from Harbor Freight. I got them right. Let's see if I can get this to turn around here. Got them right there. I got some metal over here that I'm going to be. Wow, this thing is really hard to use. There we go. So, oh yeah, sunlight here. Woo! I got a gimbal for you guys to try to make it less shaky. So I got a Harbor Freight engine stand here. I got two of them actually. There's one there, and there's one in that box over there. And I bought a bunch of metal. I got on the ground here some two by two stock, some four by two stock, and some one by one stock. I'm gonna weld it all together, put some nicer casters on it, and make something that will hold up this car right here so I can flip it over and weld the bottom of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that today. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit, see if I can make this hold up my entire car and it not fall on me. All right guys, so I finished one. You can see it here. It's like a super engine stand. You can see, I just kinda weld some two by two stock on top, put some five inch casters on there, weld some two by two four stock, made it a lot taller and same on the other side and then I just welded another caster on the front here so I think this is high enough I made this is exactly four feet off the ground so now I gotta make one more I'm gonna film it this time I wanted to make sure that it would actually work and I have another one here this is the I guess the, the stock one from Harbor Freight. But I'm gonna film me making that one. I kinda cheated and I already pre-cut everything, so it should be a little less boring to watch than me like measuring and you know figuring out how to make the thing. But yeah, it actually came out pretty good. I'm pretty surprised. I think it's gonna work pretty well. Um, it's pretty sturdy. So hopefully I can make the attachments for the car. So I'm gonna take some one inch bar, some really thick one inch bar, weld it to the bottom of this so the center of gravity is a little lower. And then weld that bar to some quarter inch plates that I'll bolt to the actual car uh, in the frame rails where the bumpers pull, bolt on. Um, and then I'll actually be able to flip it over. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any quarter inch plate for this video. But uh, I will get some quarter inch plate and I will make a video of it flipped over and hopefully fitting in my garage. So if I measured right, it should flip over and clear my ceiling so that I can have it in the garage. Um, I basically made these things as cheap as I could. So I didn't want anything fancy. All I wanted to be able to do was flip the car over and roll it around if I had to. So I could roll it out into my driveway to wash it or uh, you know roll it up onto a trailer if I had to if I brought it somewhere to be sandblasted or something like that But I think it's gonna work. So let's keep going
Uh, the first engine stand, this red paint or powder coat or whatever this is, basically turned into like goo. And it was much harder to get through than this one. This one's newer, that one I bought a couple of years ago. But whatever they're coating it with isn't as strong as what they used to coat it with. I'm keeping the wheels on here because A, it's easier to move around. But I need to level the head. So these come with a tilt. They tilt backwards a little bit. And the pieces that I cut have that tilt taken out. But I still need to level it. So I want to make sure it's 90 degrees up and down when it's flat. So I kept the wheels on so it wouldn't be tilted or anything like that. You can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's not straight. And that's on purpose. Even though it fits over it, I didn't really have to do that. I thought it would be easier to get a nice straight weld on it. You know, you just weld it there like this. Which I'm going to do now.
pretty windy. Might have to. We're gonna do this one well, and then we're gonna car inside. Going to fall on it. back today to finish this up. Last night we had like a monsoon come through so I had to like get everything back in the garage and stuff so I had to start again today. Uh, I'm just gonna, all I really have to do now is put the casters on, weld the casters on, raise this up here and weld this on, and I think that's it. This should be it. I might go back and grind out some of these welds yesterday, they're a little contaminated. So I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna do that or I'm gonna send it. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, so we'll see how that goes, but let's get to work.
sudah ada Now I'm just going to weld the casters on, and I think it's done. Alright guys, well there you have it. We have two sides to my automotive rotisserie. Right here, right here. Unfortunately, I said I think I said it earlier, but I don't have the plate to actually connect this to the car. These look like two different heights, don't they? No, I guess they're the same. I don't have the plates to connect these to the car. Um, so, unfortunately, there's going to have to be a part two to this video. But next time, I'll connect it to the car, we'll flip it over. This is a big step forward in this project I've been putting off for a long, long time. So, if you like this type of content, subscribe. If you want to see me flip my BMW E92 upside down, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want to do. And uh, hopefully next time we'll have my E92 in the air, ready to stitch weld.